Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. As you read in the title today we're talking about schizoaffective disorder, a new diagnosis that I have and I had given to me on the 29th of July. So yeah let's talk a bit about how I feel about this diagnosis. I've got some questions to answer so this is also a QA. and a We're just gonna really get into the subject of schizoaffective disorder. I'm going to start with the questions because that feels like the right place to start. The first question is, how does it affect you personally? So for me, schizoaffective disorder is is bipolar type and how it affects me is I go into psychotic and manic episodes. So when I experience mania, my psychosis tends to come in to play very quickly. So it affects me like that. It also affects me in the way that I can't predict it. It is unpredictable. There are three episodes I can go into. Hypermania, mania, depression. Now, I've only been diagnosed for just over a week. So for me, it's still very new. But that's how it affects me, according to my psychiatrist. Which symptoms do you find most challenging to cope with? And what do you do to manage them effectively? So the symptoms I find most challenging are hearing voices and hallucinating. I've never been comfortable with my hallucinations and they, they scare me a lot. So hallucinations are the one symptom that I find really hard to manage. So what do I do to manage them? To manage them I just work through it with my care coordinator or at least my old care coordinator worked through it with me. My grandparents called me every day when I was experiencing psychosis and I had Alana. If you don't know who Alana is, this is Alana. She's linked on the iCard up there. But Alana also has schizoaffective disorder and her videos have really helped me. The last question I've got is why were you diagnosed? I was diagnosed after having an episode of psychosis outside the limits of mania and depression. So for those of you who don't know, I used to be diagnosed bipolar type 1. Now I'm diagnosed schizoaffective disorder, which is okay. You know, we, we, we all go through things. But I was diagnosed because of that episode and because it's happened in the past. It really was a obvious diagnosis that I should have had, really. Looking back on it now, it's only taken 13 years. So what what is my understanding of schizoaffective disorder? From what I've learned, it's the in-between between bipolar and schizophrenia. So there are two different types of, bi of schizoaffective disorder. The schizoaffective bipolar type, which is what I'm diagnosed with, and schizoaffective disorder depression, which is where you, your symptoms come from a depressive disorder. So what are the complications of the disorder? People with schizoaffective disorder are at a greater risk of suicide, suicide attempts and thoughts about suicide, isolation, conflicts with others and within families, unemployment, anxiety disorders, alcohol or other substance misuse, health conditions such as heart disease, stroke, obesity, being poor and not having a home, being assaulted, episodes though people with schizoaffective disorder are more likely to be assaulted rather than assault others. The lives of people with schizoaffective disorder are marked by uncertainty, unpredictability. I don't really know too much about it because we're still in the early early days of learning about this disorder. Like I said I would recommend Alana's channel. Alana has helped me in so many ways because of her videos and she's my friend so I recommend checking her out. Schizoaffective disorder is a mental disorder characterised by abnormal thought processes and an unstable mood. But how do I feel about this diagnosis? Now, I haven't been diagnosed very long, so my thoughts are very premature. But honestly, it explains so much of why I have psychosis when I'm not in an episode of mania or depression. Because my psychosis comes and goes, I'm using the term psychosis because that's what hallucinations, delusions are. Honestly, it, it does make a lot of sense when you look at my medical history. I got my notes from my mum yesterday and I'm going to go through them when I get back to London and I'm going to try and piece together when I should have been diagnosed. So that's a video you can look out for. 
Anyway, that's what I've got for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you're new, subscribe. Join the growing family. We're aiming to reach 7k by the end of the year. I know we can do it if we work hard. Let's hammer down. Let's grit together. Join my Patreon. I'll link my Patreon on the iCard up there and in the description down below. If you want to make a one-time donation to me or to help me out a little bit, check out my Amazon wishlist or my PayPal. All links in the description down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.